What's up everybody? My name's Russ with RWGResearch.com. So this is a little RWG CRV. Got a new hat thanks to a friend, Pascal. He was my secret Santa at work and he got me this hat. I'd say it fits me nicely. He's the second person ever to buy me a hat that actually fits. Fong was the only other person. Anyway, so this is a CRV, a comment response video. I don't really have any comments to respond to. If I did, they were from like a long time ago. It's been a while since I posted one of these. So what I want you to do is I'll have these a little more routinely, I hope. And I want you to leave the comments. Uh, I want you to leave down in the comments things you'd like me to answer. So leave some down in the comments of this video. I'll answer them next time. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the OSD, the Oversized Delta. So the Oversized Delta, um, things are not going as nearly as fast as I'd like. I'm doing some other things and it's just taking a while. So originally I wanted to make circuit boards on there because I thought it'd be pretty straightforward and easy to do. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of easier methods. Toner transfer methods the one I usually use. Uh, you can do the uh, photo etch where you um, shine light through your negative and you can etch the circuit, excuse me, etch the circuit board with light. Um, you know, transfer everything with light, then etch it with the, the solution. However, by doing it this way, it's really opened up the possibilities um, of the printer. So I recently uh, purchased a, a 2.5 watt laser to put on the OSD. And as you know, I built the CNC spindle for it. So now it's kind of like a multi-machine. Um, my ideas behind what I'm going to be doing with the attachments is I think... I. I I really don't want to use magnets, but I think if I design the holder correctly, I'll be able to use magnets with no problem. Otherwise, I'll make some simple clip mechanism with a single screw or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure yet. It's it's better to hard bolt everything, but, you know, magnets might work. Um, I really don't know yet, but I want to make the heads removable. So the laser, the CNC, and the 3D printing head. I'm going to build in all of the electronics for them, and then all I have to do is switch out the heads. Uh, the CNC may or may not need an external power supply. I don't know yet. Or I might just add an, a port on the side where I can plug in an external power supply that has uh, more current for just for that. I don't know yet. Um, but in the end, you know, it really opened my eyes about what I could actually do with this machine. I can CNC cut things, I can laser engrave and possibly laser cut things, and 3D print with the same machine, which originally wasn't my intention, but after, like I said, doing this, all right, so it worked pretty well. So uh, that's where that project stands. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I've been printing with... Um, acrylic which I showed you in the very last video I posted if you are watching my channel on a routine basis um, and that acrylic uh, originally I wanted to cast some parts and acrylic is the best way to do casting because when you burn out the acrylic it doesn't leave any residue it burns clear uh, no black toxins it's probably still got lots of toxins but they're not black they don't turn into carbon the how the chains and the molecules are made they don't turn into carbon which means when you burn them old out everything goes away and there's no room for anything bad so that's been on my list for a long time but I you know one of my goals is to take the OSD and everything on it that's plastic put aluminum pieces but I want to print those pieces and then cast them so I have no idea the project the OSD project will probably be done and I'll probably use that printer to make the pieces for the molds. I don't know how and how much time or when I'm going to get to that. But the ultimate goal for the OSD, obviously, is to be all aluminum. Everything. So, that's the goal. Also, on the OSD, um, I got a new aluminum plate for it. And I'm making my own heated bed. So that's something else I've been working on. But I definitely replaced that really thin aluminum plate I had. I just don't think it was good enough. Uh, so I went to that Apex Electronics, which you guys saw in my last video. And I found some aluminum there. They sell it for a scrap price for the aluminum. And that particular aluminum that I bought was actually uh, some sort of a higher grade aluminum, actually. And it was, even after I cut it, it didn't warp or anything. So I have high hope for heating that and keeping a pretty flat surface. So... That'll be sometime in the future. So also on the printed circuit boards, I'm gonna show you guys in a video how I created the um, the files for that, the G-code files for that. There's two methods. 
So sometime in the future, uh, my goal is to make those videos for you. One is sort of recorded, I just need to do a voiceover. And the other one, I could probably just link you to other people who have already made better videos than I'm probably going to make. So that's eventually going to come up, I hope. All right, so we're talking about the OSD and in cutting and engraving and CNCing. And I'd like to ask you guys out there who do this kind of stuff, what kind of CNC software do you use and what kind of laser engraving software do you use? So my goal is to take the um, CNC and laser engraver that I'll be putting on there and you know how a 3D printer usually prints in circles and then it does infill. So what I want to do is actually when I do laser engraving I want to do it like a laser scanner where I'm pulsing the laser on and off at the right time to actually etch the surface. So if you guys know of any free or open source, I'd really like to be open source, um, software that you guys use for laser engraving, let me know. And then also for CNC cutting, I want to take an image, turn it into a three-dimensional object, and then be able to see and see that. So I want the Z to go up and down as it does that scanning motion, because this is a lot faster, I think, than cutting it um, as a tool path like this. Maybe, maybe not. You can leave your opinion in the comments, but um, either way, if anybody has any good free open source software that you use for CNC that can spit out the right G code that I can even manipulate or even just work straight with the printer, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so uh, something keeping me busy lately and not doing the things that I really want to get done. I've been building a coil winder. So about five years ago, I built a Toyota coil winder. That's a pretty hot video. Uh, people really seem to like that and the, the, the thing is is that toroidal coil winders are very expensive and I created something that is easy to build that can wrap certain types of toroidal, toroidal coils and it's relatively cheap and easy to make. So that was actually named after Hawk, the original guy who um, first really I saw him create the idea and then I recreated it with my own stuff here and then now I'm, I'm actually making one currently for somebody else. Uh, and I'm doing that because it brings in a little bit of funding so I can keep working on these projects. So I do occasionally do things like that where somebody contacts me and wants me to do something. Um, and this happened to be the right timing and the right person. And I said, okay. So I've been spending a lot of time doing that. It's a masterpiece. And I'll make a video on it when I'm done. But um, you know, here's a little short little snippet of what it looks like right now. It's working! Still more to do. That's at about 6 volts. And a test band on there. But it is working. But you can see how unround that rim is. It's crazy. It's completely unround. It's terrible, actually. So that's something we'll have to fix. Alright, so that's what it looks like right now. I got a lot of work to do on that, but it's getting close to finished. And then I can move on to keep working on the OSD and other projects. Alright, so the Panasonic camera that I'm recording on right now, thanks to you guys, you did it. So uh, I, I have a little short clip here that I didn't know what to do with. I'm going to post it right now and let you guys watch this thing uh, in this video. So check this out. Terrible focus. Okay, guys. It has been not quite but almost 24 hours since I asked for a tiny help of 50 cents per viewer some of you went way above and beyond and it, it's still a little teary-eyed because I'm completely overwhelmed right now but I wanted to show you something right here you paid six hundred and ninety seven dollars I should get it by Monday December 5th and today's date is 11:29. So this came with an extra battery. Supposedly it's 100 and 
$59 value or something, 150 bucks, and there's the camcorder. So I hope this camera will do what I want, but I wanted to show you, I had to cover up my other information that I don't want to share with you. But yeah, I'm just completely overwhelmed right now. So I wanted to I wanted to show this and I'll post this later once I get the camera or sometime in between. But wow. Wow. I've been thankful in the past, but it's just a reminder of how amazing people actually are. So, love you guys. I'll see you soon. All right, so there you go. Uh, just a short little piece that I didn't know what to do with, but you know, it's uh, it's pretty marvelous to see how much you guys actually care and actually want to support this channel and help this channel and me in my personal endeavors as I share with you guys what I do on a daily basis. It means a lot to me, so I really, really appreciate it. So I got, I really got no words still. Just thank you for like just showing me how much you guys actually care. I don't always get a lot of comments, uh, and I don't always get a lot of feedback, and sometimes I have a hard time judging, uh, you know, really how much interest there is, but obviously, according to that, there's a lot of interest, and way more than I really sort of expected, uh, so thank you. I do appreciate that, and uh, yeah, hopefully the good 4K content and higher resolution 1080p content uh, is awesome. All right, just a reminder... Don't forget that I do a lot of live streaming. I don't do that on this channel because I don't want to disrupt this channel. Uh, I'm thinking about doing something when I have time on an evening, like a Sunday evening, uh, and just sit behind a live stream on this channel and just sort of uh, give it like maybe a half an hour of just uh, Q&A with the uh, conversations going on in the chat room. So. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. Uh, I've been trying to plan a day to just sort of pop up and do it and see how it goes. I think it'll be pretty cool, but I have a hard time doing it until it's really late at night. And uh, it'll be really, really late at night for everybody on a Sunday because I'm on the uh, West Coast. So it'll be like 9 o'clock or something before I get on. So let me know if that's something interesting to you and maybe I'll do it. I mean, I want to do it, but it's pretty late. So I gotta find the right time for that. With kids running around and stuff, I can't really just set it up and go and then not get distracted. So let me know what you think about that idea. Well, I think that's about it. I just wanted to give you this update. Uh, if you can see in the background, I have some of Stan Meyer's research stuff set up in the, the new electronics lab. And actually, let me show you a, a quick view. So I sort of, I kind of redid some things in here and I haven't really filmed it. So let me, I guess, just show you real quickly some of the things that uh, that I've done in here. So I've I've sort of cleaned off this shelf finally. Uh, I got some of my vortex coil. I'm still working on that project. Um, there's just so much stuff in my life to do, and so I just have to do what I can when I can. But this is still very interesting to me. Very very interesting to me. Um, so I did set up the electronics lab in here. I got uh, two power supplies that I got from uh, Robert K. Hansen. Uh, rest in peace, my friend, and thank you for their family for, um, you know, giving me this stuff um, pretty well for nothing. So I really appreciate that. The oscilloscope, of course, is at work. It works. Uh, signal generator is actually mine. Um, got a new amplifier to play with if I need to. Uh, that was something that was tossed out. And this is for um, this project. I have some load banks here and some, some load banks there just sort of to get them off my bench. Um, some high voltage stuff, but yeah, I've actually managed to make a quite a bit of room in here a lot better than what it used to be. I cleaned off this bench um, Kind of opened this up put this uh, Milling machine up there and cleaned off that bench. So there's another form for a uh, um, Vortex coil Yeah, you gotta have the broken back to the future car the kids destroyed my ornament one year And so they got their own and they destroyed it and finally it got thrown away, so I'm not going to let that thing go. It looks pretty rough, but, you know, I love that car. Anyway, um, yeah, not too much. I did put some new lights in here. These are uh, LED fluorescents, which is like a phosphorus-coated glass with LEDs in them, but they still run off the high-voltage supply. And actually, I just sort of strapped them here and then strapped the lights right on top because I didn't have much room, and I wanted to spread the light out. Uh, and the light is really good in here now. I'm very pleased with how much lighting there is in here. So, anyway, just a short brief update on some of the uh, some of the stuff I've been doing in here. 
So the last thing I want to ask you guys is uh, is this. I have a really hard time between at, like making a really good quality video and something really nice that takes me a lot longer about a full project or I can record little snippets of things as I get them done that aren't really a full project. Uh, one of the things I like to do is if I'm working on something and I I'm, and I do something that I think would be interesting, just a snippet of what it is I did and why and how, it might be like a couple minute or five minute video about cutting something a certain way, it's like tips and trick videos. Uh, I actually want to post more of those, so I'll do that in the future. But my question is, is do you guys want me to produce like, uh, and by the way, this won't really change my opinion, but I'm, I'm curious of what you have to say. So do you want me to produce videos of like a project from start to finish? Um, you know, kind of like I'm doing with the OSD where I'm saying I want to build this, uh, you know, wheel that runs on the rails and then here's, here's the process until I'm done. Uh, that type of video actually takes a long time to actually produce and make and edit and get right and all nice. Um, or I could just post like, hey, I'm cutting some wheels for the OSD and I just, just record some really short video of something I'm doing and the video may be like three or four minutes long versus the 12 to 20 minutes long it takes to do a full production. Now, I'll probably still do a full production on top of those little snippets, but I'm just kind of wondering like, if you're interested in those snippets, if they're worth my time you know, doing the editing and publishing. Um, I'll probably do them, try to do most of them in a one take, maybe, maybe not, but just let me know what you guys think down, uh, down in the comments. So anyway, this has been an RWG CRV, a comment response video. And uh, leave your comments down in the, uh, um, in the comments section uh, about questions that you want me to answer. And yeah, hopefully you didn't forget anything that I asked. So that's it. Peace and love. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for being awesome. And I will continue to do my part by just filming what I do and sharing it with you. So, yeah. It's really cold. It has been very cold. Uh, I think yesterday it was 36 degrees Fahrenheit. I know it's not very cold. Um, I'm used to actually Indiana weather, which is like down towards the tens, zero to tens during winter. But, uh, but for here it's cold, you know, my feet are cold right now, but my nose isn't running. So it's not too bad. All right. Peace and love. God bless. See you later. Oh, and I recorded this video in 4k, transcoded it, uh, post-processed it, I guess in uh, 1080p. So you can also let me know what you think about that. Bye.